MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. So Matthew, this is the Microlock series here. It's yep. a popular product amongst engineers in the UK. But for those that haven't seen it or don't know about it, can you tell us what it does? Sure, Paul. Yeah, this is this is our 75 series system. Um, that's 75 mil pitching of the slots. Uh, basically, the base plate is designed to suit customer requirements, ranging from very small to, to very large. You've got the two-way slots. Um, the base generally can go on any vertical machining centre. We also do tombstones for horizontals and um, trunnions for fourth axis systems. But basically it works with a, a fixed jaw here, which locates onto the microlock base via these tenons. And that sits in there. That then gives you datum positions all over the base. So basically when you put your workpiece in, you know exactly where that is relative to the base and the machine. So it's not just a holding system, it's a referencing system as well. So the base plate you put onto your machine bed and you clock the base plate so you know... Yeah, well we provide it with tenons so it should just drop down straight in okay. and you should then know exactly where they all are relative to the, to the machine. So it's obviously going to save a lot of time, set up times. So would it be right in saying that this is for production machining or can you use it for irregular shapes and one-offs as well? You can, yeah. I mean, it's because it's very versatile and it's very quick to change. It's used quite a lot in the mould and dye industry, for example, where they people are holding parts of much larger and um, they're only doing one or two offs. It's used for small or medium batch production. Normally for large batch production, we do a, a hydraulic version of this vice and that obviously quickens things up. Okay, so t this is my location. Yep. And these jaws here, these are soft jaws, are they? So They're soft jaws, yeah. We do them in aluminium and in steel. You obviously just profile them to, to suit your workpiece. So if I had an irregular shape, I could actually machine that profile in the soft jaw and then hold that component That's too. right, yep. And, and what about clamping forces? And, I mean, key to this would be repeatability and accuracy as well. It so is, yeah. I mean, repeatability is uh, plus or minus 10 microns over a metre. Um, the, the power of this size vice is about one and a half tonnes. Um, the largest system we do 100 series and that gives you a two tonne two ton vice. And exposure of a component, I can see here your, I mean what, what can you clamp on in terms of height of? Um, well with our tallest parallels you can clamp on two and a half millimetres but we also do these, uh, we call them the ultra grip jaws and there that actually bites into the component and for that you can clamp on, on three millimetres, but because it bites in, you can clamp a lot higher parts. Okay, so these are the parallels here, you change yep. those depending on the you height. You change them there. depending on how much you want to clamp on. So if you simply put your part into there, and you can clamp like so. And normally it's about half a turn, and that will give you your, your 1.25 tonnes. And then for positioning as well, then, this is where you, you push the... the, the That's right. Uh, depending on the width of the component depends on what end stop and spacer arrangement you have in there. So basically, you can clamp any, any width part. If the part gets too wide for, for one row of vices, you simply put another one next to it or you spread it along the base because you know you've got the true accuracy on the base. And if I was looking at this, I mean, we've got one, P, one component here, but you could actually use... You could have a longer component, of course, and support yeah. it with two two vices, or three, or four, or or however big your base is actually. Okay, so I'm an engineer. I've got a machining centre that's got 750 millimetres in the x-axis. Can I come to you and say, right, I need a base plate that's 750 mil in length? Exactly. Is yeah. I mean, generally speaking, most of ours are made to order anyway. So um, whatever the size, we can do up to about 1500 by 750 in a, in a one piece um, but we've done three or four metre long tables before just by using several several base plates. So I could literally phone you up so I need a base plate a metre by 700 I want six vices three location points. Yeah and we'll, we'll do that for you obviously because it's made to suit you're looking at about three week delivery um, however we do stock some sort of regular sizes like um, a 450 by 300 
or a 600 by 400. So they're the sizes that we actually would, would stop. So this setup here, Matthew, is for a vertical machining centre. That's right, yeah. What about if I've got a horizontal or I've got a fourth axis unit? Again, we, we, we tend to tailor solutions to suit the customer requirements. Um, horizontal wise, we can do sort of four sided cubes, we can do two sided tombstones, again to fit 300, 400, 500, or even 630 pallet horizontal machines. So again, they are designed around what the customer requires. And a fourth axis, can I hold this between centres? You can, yeah, and again, we, we do various selections of them. So we can do uh, the small sort of four sided cubes. Um, we can do the double siders and or, or just a cradle type system that that works like like that okay so i'm going to sort of put you on the spot a bit here you you're going in to see an engineer why is he going to buy this system well it's versatility really is the main thing and flexibility what microlock can give you it isn't just a vice it's also a referencing system that can clamp small and large parts with the same system and they're all to relatively known date and positions. So that's what I would say to my customers. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.